Hey, mathematicians, it's me again. We're back. We're going to do the second problem together now, and you're going to see a lot of similarities between this one and the first one we just worked. In the first one, we were finding two specific possibilities for the dimensions of the playground. This one is, I call it an optimization problem because we're going to be, whenever we're optimizing something, we're either looking for the maximum or the minimum of something. So let's read this problem and see what we're trying to maximize. All right, a rancher, all right, so somebody who maybe has cattle or horses has 400 feet of fencing and they're going to make a corral. A corral is just like a pen where they're going to keep um, their animals. The corral will use the barn wall, just like the playground wall, for one side of the rectangle. So it's going to be a rectangle. Oops, where's my highlighter? Rectangle. What dimensions, so what width and length, will maximize the area? So that's what we're trying to optimize. We want a maximum area. Let's start again by drawing a diagram. Here's my barn. And this corral is going to be a pen that has three sides of fencing again. Let's use our same variables, width and length. And let W equals width. I realized on the last problem I forgot my units. Mm -mm. Always remember those units. So it's going to be width and feet. And length is going to be L, and that's also in feet. Just like before, we're going to try to sort of think about writing two equations. We can talk about the perimeter, and we can talk about the area. So let's start with the perimeter. And similar to before, we know the perimeter is going to be a width plus a length as we're walking around that fence. And we have 400 feet of fencing for that. So simplifying 2w plus a length, two widths plus a length has to equal 400. Now if you noticed, we don't have a specific area like we did before with the playground. We're trying to maximize area. So I'm going to think of this as a function where I'm trying to maximize area. And I know that area is equal to length times width. So I'm going to write that as the function. And instead of using y or f of x, I'm going to say a of w. And I'm doing this because I'm saying my input is my width, and my output is my area. So that's why I used a and w. So I know my input is w, and that area is going to be length times width. Okay, so I've got this function, but I have a real problem because I can only input w, but I've got this l sitting there. So I can't have an l. And we're going to use the same um, substitution technique that we used before with this idea of the systems of equations. I'm going to come back to my perimeter equation, and I'm going to isolate l by subtracting 2w from both sides. So l is equal to 400 minus 2w. And now I can take that little expression and substitute it in for my length here. So now I know a of w is equal to 400 minus 2w times w. And now I have a function where I'm going to input width and it's going to output area. I'm going to do a little bit of work just to simplify this um, equation over here. So I know a of w, I'm going to distribute 400w minus 2w squared. And I'm just going to write that so my a is going to match ax plus, um, sorry, ax squared plus bx plus c. So my area is equal to negative 2w squared plus 400w. Now let's just draw a little picture of what this function would look like. First of all, we know because it's w squared, we know what shapes are going to be. A parabola. Uh, we know because a is negative, it's going to open down. Well, I'm going to draw just a quick graph, a little sketch. I know my input is width. I know my output is area. And it's going to probably look something like this. 
it's a parabola opening down. Now, if I want to maximize area, I want to maximize my y value, so I need the vertex. Vertex is always going to be a max or a min. So this is going to be the width that's going to give us our max area. All right, so to find the vertex, the equation's written in the form, standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. So I know my vertex, the x value of the vertex, is the little pattern, the opposite of b, all over 2a, which is the opposite of 400, all over 2a, which is going to be 100. So that tells me a width of 100 is going to give me a max area. Now to find that max area, I can just take that value and substitute it into my function. What is my area when I input 100? I'm just going to take my calculator and use my calculator to figure that out if I want to. And I know then the area when it's 100, it's actually 20,000 feet squared. So it's a really big area. This is a big corral. So the y value is 20,000. So what that's telling us is that, um, oh, let's, let's think. Okay, wait, this is the width, 100, 100. So if we want to know our length, it's 400 minus, that's going to be 200, right? Because it has to all add up to 400. So now we know that our corral, if it is 100 by 200 feet, this is our width and that's our length. We're going to maximize our area. And that maximum area is going to be 20,000 feet squared. So take a minute and kind of consider how were these, the first problem that we did in the other video, and this one. How are they similar? How are they different? How do you know which one? you're being asked to solve. All right, hopefully this was going to get you started. I'm sure you'll have lots of questions. When you come back, we'll meet. There's office hours next week that we can meet. You're going to now come through and make sure you read your instructions really carefully about what you'll be doing now um, with the rest of the problems in this handout. Mathematicians, I hope you're having a good time wherever you are, and I'll see you next week at school. Bye-bye.